beginning we can differentiate by the lateral tuberosity it is divided in case of horse into a cranial part and the caudal part in case of ox it is divided and the cranial part is curved over the bicipital groove in case of camel the lateral tuberosity is undivided the head in case of horse has a clear neck which is well defined behind in case of ox the neck is very clear in case of the camel the neck is undefined the bicipital groove in case of horse and camel is divided by intermediate ridge the bicipital groove in the horse and in the camel is divided by intermediate ridge while in the ox it is undivided for the shaft in the horse we have a well prominent deltoid tuberosity and the teres measure tuberosity also is well defined in addition the musculospiral groove is very prominent and clear in the ox, the deltoid tuberosity is small and the musculospiral groove is shallower than in horse. Also, the teres measure tuberosity is not clear as in case of horse. In the camel, the deltoid tuberosity compared to the size of the bone is considered very small and present at a higher level. The Teres major tuberosity is very faint. The musculospiral groove is shallower than ox and than in the horse. In the distal extremity, we have the olecranon fossa and the radial fossa, which are deep in the horse and in the ox are very deep even the separating bone between the two fossae is very thin allowing light to pass through while in the camel the olecranon fossa and the radial or coronoid fossa are wide but shallower than ox and horse